Hello everybody and welcome back to Pokemon. In the last episode we did something, and then this episode we're gonna do more some things. Uh, I think we defeated Blue, and that was it, because I was lazy. Uh, in this episode we're going to get our first badge, that's my objective. So let's see what we can do. Also, I'm going to try, uh, like that Pokeball I just picked up, I'm gonna try and find all the items. Uh, again, I, I don't have, like... A guide next to me <laughs> I don't I don't know where everything is I'm just going really based on memory uh, if I miss something I sorry I missed it I can go back if it really bothers you you let me know um, but yeah I'm also gonna try and fight all the trainer battles because experience uh, I'm probably not going to cut any battles as far as like like trainers or random battles or anything just because the way I play I'll be so over leveled that all battles are pretty much gonna be just super quick um, so yeah uh, and by the time like later in the game I'll eventually buy like a bunch of repels and we won't even have to deal with random battles anyways so it'll just be the trainers that you see but we'll cross that road when we get there, I suppose. Um, so, basically, uh, like I said, today I'm going to try and get through the forest and get to the first gym and get our first badge. Uh, it's going to be pretty easy, but, I mean, you know, always good to have a goal. Um, this, These first few trainers, I, I didn't even mention that. First trainer that we fought, I think, is the first... Uh, first uh, trainer battle that we can have in the game. Uh, if you don't include blue, that is. So, that's cool. Uh, we defeated him, he had a Caterpie and a Weedle, and this guy I believe has a Weedle, a Kakuna, and another Weedle. Yeah. Um, they're all pretty easy. Like I said, I got... I got the strategy of just overpowering them to death, but even if you don't level up like crazy, this whole game is easy. Uh, I mean, I guess it has some tough parts, but it, altogether it's probably just one of the easiest games ever. And uh, yeah, I mean, I, I don't really have a strategy. All of my Pokemon can one-shot all of their Pokemon, so I'm just kind of choosing them somewhat randomly and attacking. <laughs> um, I mean, obviously, I, I do know some of the basics, like, you know, rock and ground types are not going to be affected by, like, lightning and stuff like that. I mean, I know, I know weaknesses. I'm not just going to spam you know, Thundershock on Onyx later. So, yeah, I mean... Oh, well, I'm, I, I got this. We got this. It'll be easy. Oh, that's too bad. I really wanted to steal this guy's Weedle. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is the last trainer in the Viridian Forest, and he only has one Pokemon, but it's a level 9 Weedle. Like, oh my goodness, level 9. So, you could be terrified of it if you, uh, kind of just rush through. I mean, it's, it's pretty easy either way, but it might be a little intimidating if you just rush through. But not for us, because we are awesome. And that is the last trainer in, uh, in the forest. I'm surprised I got through it so quickly. Alright, um, out here is a little grass patch. I don't believe there's anything new in there, so we're not going to worry about it. Uh, if there is, I mean I will worry about it. I'll do that off screen though. Uh, and this is Pewter City, so welcome to Pewter City. I'm not even going to... I'm not even going to do anything. I'm just going to head straight to the gym. We're going to get that badge. So let's go in here, uh, very first gym, it is a rock and ground type gym, 
There is only two trainers if you count the gym leader. Uh, there's this guy and the gym leader. You can completely skip this guy, clearly, but I'm not going to because rock and ground type. I mean, <laughs> we have every advantage in the world. So, <laughs> so this is a junior trainer. He only has two Pokemon. He has a Diglett and a Sandshrew. Uh, in my opinion, I mean, this this first gym is like the easiest gym, obviously, because that's the beginning of the game, but it's it's very easy. Uh, no matter what. the You'll only really have some trouble if you pick Charmander. Um, and that's only because Charmander has no good moves against anything in this gym. Um, but that's easily solved by going and picking up, like, a Butterfree or... Is Butterfree even good against these guys? I don't know. Uh, maybe a Pidgey? I, I don't know. There's there's something you can catch that's useful. Yeah, see that didn't really work as well. But uh, and it's still a very easy gym. Um, I think that Sandshrew is probably the toughest thing in this gym, just because I don't know. I, I've just always felt that way. Um, but I mean, it's still easy. So now we're going to talk to this guy. It's Brock. Everybody knows Brock. It's Pewter, Pewter City's gym leader. Uh, that was actually kind of hard for me to say. Uh, and of course, he is a rock. Rock hard. Spec uh, he's, he's a rock gym leader. Uh, gross. So he has rock type Pokemon. He only has two, I believe, uh, Geodude and Onyx. Geodude is level 12. Very, again, the super easy. If you picked Squirtle, like I did, and you have any water move, this gym is just cake. I'm over leveled, obviously, so it's already going to be easy. But if you just rush here, only getting like Bubble, which is the first water move you learn, you're still going to have a pretty easy time here. It's not difficult. Bulbasaur has a pretty easy time here as well, um, so that's that's no big deal. But like I said, Charmander's Charmander's you're gonna have a little trouble, uh, mainly because you know Ember does like no damage to them, and neither does Scratch or whatever his other move is. But we don't have to worry about that because we picked Squirtle, and that was easy. That was our first badge. That was. That was the boulder batch. So, very easy stuff. Um, he's also going to give us a TM, which contains Bide, I think. Uh, oh, and we can use Flash outside of battle. Ooh, I'm so... Ooh. Ah, no, just kidding. Um, but yeah, he's going to give us a TM. It gives us Bide. The gym leaders are always going to give you a TM and a badge when you beat them. And the TM is generally going to contain a move that their Pokemon use on you constantly. They basically just spam it. <laughs> if I would have let Onyx attack, he would have used Bide on me quite a considerable amount of times. So, that's how that is. <clears throat> so yeah, oh, I did not mean to talk to him again. That's... that's unfortunate. Alright, well, like he said, we're going to head to Cerulean next, but unfortunately it's not going to be that easy. We're going to have to go through uh, Route 3, I guess, uh, Mount Moon, another route, and then we'll be there. And that's off this way. So we're going to do that next time. Uh, thank you for watching, and you have a wonderful day. Goodbye. <laughs>